hey I just want to do a quick little check-in because even though I really I still really want to be on here and I have so many different ideas and when one thing doesn't work out I'm gonna try something else and the truth is I just don't even though I don't have the energy for it here I am just stepping forward to say it because this is the ultimate plan is to share something and the thing is, is it's just continuously evolving and in one way I feel more like myself than ever before and I feel more resistance than ever before so it's really just um, a, a kind of an inner battle that I have to allow space for um, I've got I've had a lot happen in October and I have a lot I'm looking forward to and it's really just the beginning as I've been saying the whole time it sounds really silly saying that after years but it's always different and I am very much at this point where I just need to let myself heal and I do mean that in a physical way um, because of drastic changes I just made to my physical body I had my breast implants removed after 11 years and I am just so excited to figure out what that means for me. I also pulled my IUD out myself and there's no way that that didn't have, and I hadn't gone down the breast implant illness rabbit hole, but as I'm feeling my body without that in between, there's there was just this whole new concept I'm trying to integrate and it, it's psychological and the next few months are definitely about thinking and I'm so excited because, well, thinking because of uh, Mars retrograde in Gemini. Gemini is my second house and um, also my moon sign. So really integrating a lot of concepts. I wish I had an astrologer friend to like really... I need a chart reading so if anybody has an astrologer who they I don't know trust I mean I'm always open to recommendations I don't know if I'll take the recommendation but I really wish I had an astrologer <laughs> because I'm a Scorpio Sun and Taurus rising and I know that that's where the north and south nodes are my Saturn is Aquarius there's I'm being affected I'm being there's no denying and I'm also trying to study esoteric Christianity I was in groups I'm over committing myself I have recently finished certificate courses i'm so proud of my my crystal master i'm trying to figure out if i'm going back to work in the crystal shop i'm also trying to finish not there's no finishing i'm trying to continue studying so many different things right now one of those things being soul realignment which is about i just i just can't right now i just have to let my physical body heal i did also go to a doctor recently who's going to we did a it was a very expensive appointment that i'm so thankful to have had um we're going to look at my gut and like i, I did a gut test and like a ton of blood work and i have hypothyroid I stopped taking my medicine a year ago i'm not ideal you know i'm, I'm trying to figure this out on my own but i feel definitely feel better than ever which is really crazy because i guess i'm going off of pure blind faith right now so much is going on and i just there's no part of me that can sit for long enough to go through footage and re-look at myself because I'm, I'm better every minute but not whenever i'm like dissecting how silly i look doing all of this i'm aware but i really feel like i'm closer to feeling confident and comfortable in my body than ever before and i think that unfortunately i think that will make all the difference um because i have come to a place where i can allow space for myself even though i'm continuously pushing myself i do allow space for healing today's one of those days um i'm finding so much comfort in my guitar and my piano just making beautiful sounds <laughs> Um, I'm definitely self-teaching, but you know, moving out into the real world, I'm, I'm being offered time for healing, but I will have to go back to work soon. So trying to navigate as I have a couple different doors open, what's going to be best for me 
especially whenever I do really want to continue working with crystals and working with breathing exercises. I know that that means healing services are going to be more aligned with me, but also social interaction would definitely be great. So there's a coffee shop that does, it's kind of a new coffee shop that's doing a lot of um, open mic nights and stuff. And it's so precious in its own kind of way. And I don't know, I'll try and, I mean, like I said, I've been recording a ton, but it's just unbearable to watch. So I'm doing all I can at this time. I hope everybody's okay out there during these trying times. And I look forward to continuing this new thing that I've got going in spirit. I didn't see coming. I've started writing for the first time in about seven years, and that's really pretty exciting because I feel something different that I didn't see coming. And it's definitely a time to commemorate and like capture this essence because whenever I sin, you guys aren't going to know what hit you. I'm just kidding. Okay. 